Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 11th of 2024 is titled Colorful Stars and Clouds Near Rho Ophiuchi. So what do we see here? Well, as you might expect, it's the region near the star known as Rho Ophiuchi, which is also near the bright star Antares there off to the right, the bright star in the constellation of Scorpius, the Scorpion. Now, Antares is a red supergiant star and one of the very brightest stars in the night sky. And you can see how it energizes and lights up the clouds around it. Those are clouds of dust around it that are being illuminated by this very bright star. Now, Rho Ophiuchi is a much hotter star, and we see it scattering light in the blue there. So very blue color around it. And we see that that is an example of a reflection nebula. And there's a second reflection nebula, IC4506, which is off to the right of that. Now, a reflection nebula occurs when the light from a star is reflected off of dust grains around it. So light normally travels straight out, but when there's a lot of dust there, and in fact, not too much, but a lot, enough that it scatters all that light around it. Now it will preferably scatter the shorter wavelengths. So the reflection nebula tends to look blue because those are the shortest wavelengths being emitted by the hotter stars that we can see. Now the other ones, we can also see the yellowish color around Antares and again the bluish color around IC 4605. So what we see as we look at this is a lot of the different colors, a very colorful region around here because of the different types of stars, the different concentrations of dusty material that is visible around here. And we can see even the very dark denser regions which are too dense for light to be able to penetrate. So if you have just a little bit of dust, you get something like a reflection nebula where light is being scattered. If you have too much dust, then you don't get to see anything. It becomes opaque and you cannot see anything through it. And you can see many of those dark dusty areas here, which again are not the absence of material, but the presence of excess material within them. So many regions like this will have assorted different types of stars and can give us very colorful images. Now, while we consider it colorful to us, we can also think about that these stars and this area also emit a lot of other colors that we simply can't see. Our eyes are sensitive to the colors of the rainbow from red through violet and those are the colors that are emitted primarily by our sun. That's where most of the sun's energy is emitted and that's why our eyes have adapted to see those types of light. However, there are longer and shorter wavelengths, things like ultraviolet and infrared that we cannot see, but can be detected in other ways, meaning that these areas are actually far more colorful than just what we see. So that was our picture of the day for June 11th of 2024. It was titled Colorful Stars and Clouds Near Rho Ophiuchi. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.